Well, hello and welcome to this exercise on uh, money management and number. Uh, I've also called it trial and improvement. Uh, officially, uh, trial and improvement does not exist in the IGCSC syllabus or scheme of work as such, but this is an IGCSC question. Okay, so also suitable for high tier GCSC and for 10th grade mathematics and for GED mathematics. This is the this is the fourth in my series on money management and numbers. Now here's the question, and now being topical, uh, Vladimir bought a lot of car for fifteen thousand rubles. At the end of the first year, it had depreciated by twenty five percent, so it's worth seventy five percent at the end of the first year. Now at the end of the second year, it had depreciated by twenty percent. At the end of the third year, it had depreciated by 15%. Now, from the fourth year onwards, each year it depreciated by 8%. In which year will the car be worth less than 40% of its original value? Now, the key number here is 40% of 15,000 pounds, sorry, 15,000 rubles, and that gives us 6,000 rubles there. Now, I think, well, I think uh, I'm going to use two methods here. I'm sure there are other methods for doing this. What I call the long method and the short method here. Right, now for the long way, I'm going to say, uh, at the end of the first year, the car, the car will be worth 0.75 of 15,000 rubles. And that's 11,250 rubles because it's gone down by 25%. Now, at the end of the second year, it will now be worth, uh, because it's gone up by 20%, it will now be worth 0.8 of what it was worth at the end of the first year. So it's 0.8 times 11,250, and that's 9,000 rubles there. And 9,000 is greater than 6,000. So we move on to the third year. Now, at the end of the third year, it will be worth 0.85, because it's gone down by... 15%, so it will be 1.85 of what it was worth at the end of the second year. So 0.85 times 9,000, that gives us 7,650 7, rubles. And that's still more than 6,000 rubles there. So we carry on. Now, at the end of the fourth year, the car will now be worth, because it's gone down by 8% at the end of the fourth year. So it's now worth 9.92 of its worth at the end of the third year. So it's 0.92 times 7,650 rubles, and that gives us 7,038 rubles, and that again is more than 6,000 rubles. So we move on to the fifth year. At the end of the fifth year, again, because it's gone down by 8%, which is 0 0.08, so it's now worth 0.92 of what it was worth at the end of the fourth year, and that's 0.92 times 7,038 7 rubles. And that will give us uh, 6,474.96 rubles. And that, again, is more than 6,000, which is what we're looking for there. Okay? So we move on to the to this sixth year. Again, because it's gone down by 0 0.08, so that's 0 0.92. It will work at the end of the sixth year, which is 0 0.92 times 6474, 6474.96. And that will give us 5956.96. And that's less than uh, 6,000 rubles there. So we stop there. So uh, our answer is uh, at the end of the sixth and beginning of the seventh year. That's what we require for our answer. Now, for the what I call the shorter method, um, the if we say that fifteen thousand is a unit price, there, yeah, should we say it's one unit price. So at the end of the first year, it will be worth 0.75 of the unit price, which is 0.75. And that's greater than 0.4. So we move on to the second year. For the second year, uh, because it's gone down by 20%, it's depreciated by 20% or 0.2. So it's now worth 0.8 of what it was worth at the end of the first year, which is 0.8 of 0.75. And we get 0 0.6000. And that's greater than 0 0.4. Now at the end of the third year, uh, it's going to be worth... Uh, 0.85 of what it was worth at the end of the second year, which is 0.85 times 6,000, which is all that, and you get 0 0.5100, and that's greater than 0 0.4. Now, moving on, 
again, we're going to have on the fourth year, we're going to have uh, it to be worth 0.92 of what it was worth at the end of the third year, which is now 0 0.4692, and that's greater than 0 0.4. So we'll move on, we'll carry on. Now, don't forget that it's still depreciated by 8% at this point here, which is, point, which is 0 0.08. So at the end of the fifth year, it's going to be what 0 0.92 times all that there, which is that one there, 0 0.43166. So at the end of the 60 year, so hang on, uh, this is more than 0 0.4, so we carry on to the 60 year. So at the end of the 60 year, we now have that it's worth uh, 0 0.3971, which is less than 0 0.4. Okay? So in effect, what you can do here really is, as long as you keep a tab on what you're doing, keep a count of what you're doing, is to do 0 0.75 for the first year, 0 0.08, 0 0.085, and check with at the calculator to make sure that Make sure that you don't miss up when it's less than 0.4%. So that's all you have to do, provided you keep a tab on, you keep a count of what you're doing here. And I'll give you 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 to get 0 0.971 there. 0 0.3971 there. And that's 0.4%. So in effect, uh, as before, at the end of the 60th, beginning of 70th year, the car will be worth less than 4%, 40% of. The original price there and that's where we stop i hope all that made some sense and please please subscribe and thank you for watching see you again sometime bye bye now